Isang. Na kadri maji yanapoendelea kukosekana na njaa kukita mizizi kaunti hiyo ukosefu wa mvua kwa takriban misimu mitano inaendelea kuongezea chumvi kwenye donda kaunti hiyo Shughuli ya masomo vile vile haijasazwa makali ya anga Kwa kawaida madarasa haya yangejaa wanafunzi ambao wanafika shuleni kukata kiu ya masomo sauti za wanafunzi na hata milio yao ingekuwa ishara tosha kuwa wapo shuleni na shughuli za masomo zinaendelea ipasavyo hata hivyo hii ndiyo taswira iliyopo hapa katika shule ya Bula Mobile katika eneo bunge la Balambala County hiyo madarasa haya sasa yakisalia kuwa makao ya wageni wasiohitaji masomo Angalau wanafunzi hamsini walikuwa wakija hapa kupokea masomo ila sasa madarasa haya yamesalia kuwa mahame huku mwalimu mmoja tu ambaye alitwikwa jukumu la kufunza wanafunzi hao akitoweka baada ya kuzidiwa na hali ngumu iliyochangiwa na mabadiliko ya anga. Naweza sema sasa drought imesababisha mwalimu kuturudi hapa kwa sababu pesa alikuwa anapata hapa ni kidogo lakini angepata pesa nyingi na mimi angekaa tu na sisi afunze watoto wetu. Shule ilifunguliwa mwaka jana, lakini after election ama baada ya uchaguzi last year, shule ilifungwa. Mwalimu akaenda na hajai rudi. Tatizo ambalo tuko nayo ni shida ya walimu. Sisi ndiyo hulipa walimu, tungependa tusaidiwe. Amina Abdi mkazi wa eneo la Bula Mobile ni mama ya watoto sita. Watano kati yao walikuwa wakikata kiu ya elimu shuleni humo ila sasa wanalazimika kukaa nyumbani. Sasa yao watoto wangu wako hapa wametoka shule sababu mwalimu ametoroka. Tulikosa kijopea mwalimu monthly. So hapa hakuna maji, mwalimu hakuna majana kunya. Then hatuwezi pata pesa ya kupatia huyo mwalimu salary so mwalimu yenyewe alitoroka Katika shule ya Hirbaya taswira ni ile ile ila hapa wanakabiliana na idadi kubwa ya wanafunzi wanaolazimika kukatiza masomo ili kusaidia wazazi wao kutafuta maji chakula na lishe kwa mifugo wao kama anavyoelezea mwalimu mkuu wa shule hiyo Sam Odundo Apart from water and grass They, they normally go to look for these uh, special commodities. So in most cases, they live, they go up to a place called Shimbri. Shimbri, like when we are uh, about to open, most of the children, especially boys, they were with them. They were helping them to look after the she uh, goats, camels, in those sites of Shimbri. So you find that when you open the school, there's no student. Shule ya Hirbaya ina takriban wanafunzi 280 ila ni wanafunzi 92 tu ambao walikuwa wameripoti shuleni. Ukosefu wa chakula shuleni imetajwa kama mojawapo ya changamoto ambazo zinalazimu wanafunzi kukatiza masomo. Many families here are sleeping hungry. Many pupils here are coming to school without eating. Some even two days, three days they don't have anything. So if we can get food especially like the government normally brings food but they bring food towards the closing Wataalamu wanasema kwamba ukosefu wa lishe shuleni huathiri shughuli za masomo kwa kiasi kikubwa haswa miongoni mwa wanafunzi wa shule za msingi kama hii Some schools are suspended for some time because of lack of water So these schools cannot get water uh, The school feeding program uh, cannot be done without water and sometimes uh, when teachers and children cannot have water in school then the operations of that school is impacted. Hali kadhalika ukame unaoshuhudiwa kaunti hiyo unasemekana pia kuchangia visa vya ndoa za mapema miongoni mwa wanafunzi ambao huozwa na wazazi wao kama njia ya kutafutia familia riziki takriban asilimia hamsini ya wakazi wa kaunti ya Garissa wanasemekana kuathiriwa na bala njaa na vile vile kuhitaji misaada ya kukabiliana na ukame 
huku ukame ukiendelea kuathiri wakaazi kutoka maeneo kama Garissa ipo haja ya serikali zote mbili kushirikiana ili kuhakikisha kwamba athari za mabadiliko ya anga haziathiri shughuli ya masomo nchini Gloria Milimu KTN News Shukran sana Gloria Milimu kwa taarifa hiyo ya kufumbua macho tusonge mbele tudumishe usalama ndio kauli ya wazee wa Raya Ali katika jamii ya Awil Yahan kaunti ya Garissa ni ya baada ya mahakama kutopilia mbali ushindi wa mbunge wa Lagdhera Hamza Yusuf anaarifu katika itikadi ya jamii ya Somali wazee wana usemi na wanapozungumza husikizwa tena kwa makini na wito wa leo ni mmoja tu kwamba tudumishe amani Undugu ni kitu ya maana sana. Leo tukiharibu ni ngumu kurudisha. Tusiharibiane roho. Tuishi kwa umoja. Wito huo unajiri wiki mbili baada ya mahakama ya juu kufutilia uhalali wa kiti cha mbunge wa sasa Abdulkadir Hussein. Hata hivyo, Hussein alielekea mahakama ya rufaa kusimamisha uamuzi huo. We will definitely appeal. Already a stay order has been granted pending appeal The most important thing is that I am still your MP, I'm still the MP of Lagdera and I will continue better the lives of people of Lagdera We have no problem with that uh, all, all I can tell you is uh, this was just a process it, it was not one day thing and uh, in fact we won all the the petitioners have won all the all the process and that will going to be one of them let him take his stay order and we have no problem with that Katika matokeo ya uchaguzi kati ya wawili hao Abdikadir Hussein alijizolea kura 1539 huku Abdikani Zaitun akiwa na kura 1463. Eneo la Lagdera ni moja wapo ya sehemu zilizoandikisha utulivu kwenye uchaguzi wa mwaka jana. Katika mkutano wa leo wazee hao wamewataka wakaazi kwa watulivu na kuzivurugwa utulivu huo endapo kutakuwa na uchaguzi mdogo. Tulikuwa tumeongelea juu ya umoja wa Lagdera juu ya komuniti ambao wanaishi Lagdera vile wengeza kuishi pamoja na vile wengeza kuishi na amani na vile ambayo tungeweza kufikiria juu ya maendeleo machote sasa yanatizama kusubiri uamuzi wa mahakama ya rufaa wengine walio kinyang'anyironi ni pamoja na Mohamed Hire na Ali Sheikh Hamza Yusuf KTN News Garissa Tukitoka Garissa turudi hapa jijini Nairobi ambapo ugonjwa wa glaucoma unashikilia nafasi ya pili ya kusababisha upofu duniani. Ugonjwa huu hauna dalili na mara nyingi hugunduliwa kama mgonjwa tayari ameanza kupata